Greetings in the name of Jesus Christ. My grandmother gave me this small New Testament when I was five years old, and since those early days in church to this day, I have been a person of this book, the Bible. She was a devout student of the Bible all her life and faithful to Jesus and the church. However, I remember hearing her make a very racially prejudiced remark when I was about 13. You see, even when we are devoted followers of Jesus and want to be free of all racial prejudice, we can fail to see the implicit racism that is still active in our culture, sometimes in overt ways, but also in ways seen mainly by those who suffer because of it and must be aware so as not to be hurt by it. McFarlane, in the next seven to eight minutes, I want to visit with you briefly about the important and vital work of our Just Action team in providing opportunities for both learning and action related to racial understanding and racism. Our scripture affirms that in the one spirit we are all baptized into the one body. Therefore, I have genuine confidence that we can experience joy and harmony as the unified body of Christ even as we engage in what can be challenging conversation, learning, and action. As you know, tragic race-related and racially motivated events in 2020 and 2021 have reminded the church once again that we are called to love all of our neighbors as ourselves. We are called to a humble passion for mercy and to do justice, not only talk about creating justice for all, but act in ways that both uncover any injustice and do something to make it right. Our Just Action team is leading an effort to help us be faithful to God's call. This call is clear in our Holy Scriptures. In her personal note to me in this New Testament, Grandma said the scriptures are like a big light. Our scriptures do make it very clear that the church must be a place eagerly and actively open to the equality of persons of all races and ethnicities. So from Colossians and Galatians, we read these instructions to the church. You have clothed yourselves with the new self, which is being renewed in knowledge according to the image of its creator. In that renewal, there is no longer Greek and Jew, barbarian, Scythian, slave and free, but Christ is all and in all. There is no longer male and female, for all of you are one in Christ Jesus. The Church of Jesus Christ is at our best when we are racially diverse, when we speak up to right any wrongs, and when we effectively act and advocate for racial equality in all the systems and at all the levels of both church and society. Jesus looked out upon society of his day and declared that there were people harassed, dismissed, excluded, and in need of assistance. So today, there are persons of color all around us who know what it is to be harassed, dismissed, looked over, and looked down upon because of the color of their skin or the sound of their language. I believe that we must listen to those who give witness to the fact that racism still operates within the systems and habits and structures of our culture and society. Our Just Action Team is providing opportunities for us to learn together so that we can act together. The team is posting some short videos, promoting book studies, inviting a guest speaker, planning for study options, and more. I know that these conversations can be difficult and give rise to debate and competing convictions or understandings, but church, we can do this without divisiveness and with intentional faith in each other because we share one Lord, one faith, one baptism. I am grateful to God for the high level of love, wisdom, discernment, and care for each other that is so evident among the lay leadership, the small groups, the Sunday school classes, and the whole membership of our church. I believe that we need to both explore the scriptures together on this matter and also use information from those who study our current culture. Jesus and Paul were students of both the Hebrew scriptures and of the culture in which they lived and ministered. In Acts 15, there is an instructive example of the church engaged in a difficult conversation. 
There was division in the early church about taking the good news to the Gentiles and about just how much of the culture and doctrine of Judaism the other ethnicities and races would need to adopt. It was a very difficult conversation for the church. Everyone gathers for a conference in Jerusalem. Both Peter and Paul show up as witnesses to how God is working among the Gentiles. James, the leader in Jerusalem, convenes the conversation among people with different perspectives and opinions and convictions. They confer and reason together using scripture, tradition, and reported experiences and stories of God's work. They reach a consensus with the help of the Holy Spirit and maintain the unity of the church. The same Spirit is with us today to help us explore racism and racial injustice. I know that each of us and all of us can and will approach this with open minds and caring hearts. I invite you to pray with me for the Just Action Team and to engage in this important work for our world and for our church so that we might shine like a star in the universe holding forth the word of life. To find more information, check our website, the Just Action page there, and our app. I also invite you to contact Pastor Wendy or me or the Just Action team through our website or through the church office. Now hear this prayer from Romans 15. May the God who gives endurance and encouragement give us the same attitude of mind toward each other that Christ Jesus had, so that with one mind and one voice we may glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you for listening. I appreciate you. God be with you.